Welcome to Cigar Time, your ever so friendly show all about premium, or in today's case, a little non traditional premium non -traditional. cigars. Uh, brought to you at this time, on this station, on, on this, this day. Channel. Every um, week. Welcome back. <laughs> Thanks. Welcome back. Good to be Hello. Back. Today, uh, we're very fortunate to have Fabian Ziegler, the executive brand ambassador, major domo, infusion confusion king of Drew Estates. <laughs> and today we're going to talk about some non-traditional cigars. You've all heard of them. I'm sure a lot of you have smoked them. And uh, bait, so speaking of smoking them, are you... Uh, well, this is a very non-traditional show, I was told. So we're not going to get any cigars? Well, so <laughs> usually you start the show by smoking cigars. We but do. Now, now we're going to start with a choice. Nice. Okay? Ah. So Drew Estate, a little company, we're celebrating 20 years of acid this year. 20 years of acid. We've been selling acid cigars for 20 years. And we are. these are the first two cigars that we're releasing in the year of the 20 years of acid. So... Oh, I've how, yes. how, long yeah. how long have you guys been, been selling been acid? Business? We've been selling cigars for 20 years. 20, 20 whole years. years. 20 whole years. Oh, oh, years. I'm, I'm off the sure. island. I'm off the island. Okay, so just so you know, we're celebrating 20 years of acid. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. So now we're going to celebrate 20 years of acid by smoking a cigar. Yes. So we have the And plush. I've never smoked an acid, so here so we go. We're all here. We're going to witness her first time. My first time. Of smoking and an you're going to do it on TV. <laughs> it would be and you're going to do it on TV? It would Live? It would be appropriate if one of those was cherry flavored. Yes. Well, they're infused with all <laughs> natural <laughs> botanical <laughs> and herbal oils. All natural botanical and herbal oils. So you guys get to pick. Let's we right. have the plush. The acid plush right over here, at home plush. which is a five and a half by fifty, and it's a nice, beautiful Connecticut broadleaf wrapper. Ooh, I like that. Most, most of you guys, me, 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 most me. of you guys know another acid brand down. that we make, which is the Liga Privada, which oh, we yeah. use Small. Connecticut broadleaf. Oh, beautiful! Wrapper. This is the exact same wrapper that oh, we Small. use. Really? Just one of each. Now. Okay, now now I would you like so. a plush, or you want to wait till number two? I want to wait till because oh, number two. two. I'll keep my options is open. The beautiful croquetta. Ooh. That's right. It comes in a tube, and as you can see, it's a, it's not one cigar. It's two it's cigars. Two. Oh. As I like to say, it's a cigar for me, and a cigar for me oh. later. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, for you. Here you go. Here you go. You, you get your own croquetta tube. Uh, you you get your own croquetta <laughs> tube. Here you go. Thank Those you. cigars are like a schnub. That's right. That's right. Here That's you go. I thought it was you want be one the little? For me all right. Too. There you go. Well, right. you got two. Now the croquetta is actually the same infusion uh, than the plush, but the only difference it's a very nice San Andreas. Negra Ooh. Maduro wrapper, Ooh. so, okay. so nice. it's a mouthful. Of, you know, it's a Mexican Maduro. There you go. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna smoke a croqueta. All right, well, everybody's smoking that, and he's smoking that. Oh, this yeah. is I'm, I'm gonna smoke Which the Which label plush. is this under the purple? Then I'm gonna smoke the it purple label. You're gonna be done with that. In it two is under the purple though. label, yes. Okay. So it's it's more on the herbal, but I can't stress enough all natural herbal oils. What does that mean in English? It means that it wasn't created this. in test tubes, even though we have uh, two croquettas in a nice little glass tube. Uh, uh, all those herbs are all from uh, botanical and herbal oils. They're all natural. They're, there's no additives. Uh, there's no artificial sweetness. Uh, you will taste some sweetness on, the, on these cigars. <laughs> but let me tell you a little something. This is usually a very traditional show, right? You guys are very traditional very cigar traditional. smokers. Stay As you know, this is her very first acid. We can't wait for her to light this up. <laughs> and I'm but while she's getting her cigar ready, I'm yes. sitting next to her. Uh -huh. I will tell you, we're getting acquainted, me and the cigar. Right the now. very first acid you ever want to or you ever smoke will overly seem sweet. And the reason being is I don't necessarily I don't have a minor in psychology. I just play one in the cigar industry. Uh, when you smoke very traditional cigars and then you try something very sweet, the very first, more. The f the very first explosion is sweetness. You're actually getting alarms in your head going sweet, 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 sweet. For sure. All right. But as that. you actually keep smoking that cigar, and hopefully you can oh, withstand I've got those alarms. Going off in my head, all right. Huh? I've got alarms going off in my yeah, head. Yeah, see, right. it's sweet, right? But by the time you're halfway through, or actually in that cigar, a quarter through. It is through, halfway through. Yeah, you're already halfway through on that cigar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God it's a 20-minute show. You, you know, I mean, uh, you know, let, let, let me catch up to you. But by the, by, by the time you actually get into that cigar, 
The sweetness, you will think that the sweetness actually dissipates, but it does not. It's a, it's a trick. Because what happens is your alarms go s come off and you actually let the sweetness become part of the cigar instead of working against the cigar. Mm -hmm. So, how was your first? It's very sweet. <laughs> get out. Well, get thank out. you. Just we just met, it's but thank you. It's all over thank the you. tongue right now. Thank you. It is dripping. Sweetness. Sweetness right now. Yes. I'm also getting. Don't even go there. Don't I'm even say what you're thinking. I'm also getting a very peppery taste. What a face. I'm not getting any pepper. No. Well, you're smoking no. a different cigar. I'm smoking yeah. different. Yeah, you're smoking yes. different. Because I, okay. I couldn't we, let Scott be the only one the smoking. Snubs. I got what's the, is there a, what's the blend on this? It's so powerful. I'm Nicaraguan filler, Nicaraguan binder, and I broad leaf. I can taste the Nicaraguan, believe it or not. Here, here's I'm the... Not, I, I can... It's got that... The earthiness. The whole country. The this is not what I thought it was And almost like a... Uh, plus like vision. a liver flavor. But wait, say that again. Say that again. This is not what I thought it was going to be at so, all. So here, here's the, the prime principle of acid cigars. Acid cigars, Wait, we use <laughs> premium Nicaraguan tobacco. I mean, this is the same tobaccos that we use in some of our other brands, like Undercrown, like Nica Rustica, and, and, and other brands. Mm -hmm. So but please explain the infusion, then, because well, that's where you yeah, lose Yeah, there's me. a lot of confusion. Okay, it all right. <laughs> that's not part of the infusion, <laughs> the confusion. Since, since uh, I've been with the company for 19 years, uh, I have never been told the whole infusion process. Okay. Uh, at Is the it time, in the same safe with the Coca Cola formula. Yeah, the Coca Cola formula, the uh, Colonel Sanders uh, uh, fried ah, chicken. Th those are in the same. McDonald's, uh, you know. Big Mac. Sauce. There's only three people in the cooking. company before the company got bought, <laughs> bu got bought that knew the whole entire process. Wow. And when when the company got bought, s their whole executive team, so all seven of them, found out what the process was. So now there's only ten people that know the whole, the, world. the whole process of infusion. Wow. Yes, it's a very tricky now. Because I've been around so much and I've spent a lot of Does time in Nicaragua in our factory, I have kind of created my, um, you know, my my infusion cigar book of dummy uh, type cool. you know, thing. You that go, you go honest. to the store. Okay, yeah. so that so so honest. in a sense, infusion for dummies. Infusion yes. for dummies. Yes. Okay. So so what we end up doing is we actually end up uh, taking some of our premium tobaccos and we find a way of dehydrating them. Oh. Okay. okay, so so by dehydrating, what happens when you dehydrate tobacco? You actually take all the moisture out Is of that the tobacco. A fancy way of saying drying. Yes. Okay. Okay. We found a way of drying our tobacco. <laughs> Dry cure. Okay. Sure. And there comes a point where the leaf is very fragile. It's completely. It, it could be very brittle. It could be break. It could explode. And then right at that time, we find a way of rehumidifying them. Ah. But instead of rehumidifying them. Uh, uh, with just water, that's when we add these natural ah. botanical and herbal water-based solutions in the air. Okay, mm. so I got a question nice. for you guys. Who cooks? You guys I do. Okay, you, mushrooms. You Love cook them. Mushrooms. Okay, all right. So, so great. So, if you eat a raw mushroom, what do you taste? The mushroom. I don't know. It just Dirt. tastes kind of chewy. <laughs> the, the sour cream. Exactly. <laughs> but what, happen <laughs> what happens when you use a mushroom and you cook it with garlic or parsley or... or it or takes on those flavors? Yeah. It's like so tofu. It so so that's, that's what it's tobacco like is. Yeah. Yeah. Tobacco yeah. is yeah. just like a mushroom. Yeah. Tobacco yeah. absorbs what it's around. True, so, so which is why we don't like to put an acid with another cigar. When I, we I put thought segregation in ended in the 60s. <laughs> Oh boy. Ah, I'm, just, I'm just saying. That's I'm, a good one. I'm just saying. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I, I get that. No, but I get that question all the time. It's like, oh, do I need to buy my own humidor when I buy acids? I'm like, yeah, the no. answer is no. No, you don't. You know, first of all, a lot of people keep, like a lot of people keep their cigars in cello anyways in the humidor, they right? Do. Yeah. yeah. And uh, unless yeah. you take your cigar out of the cello and you put it in your box, and then every 20 minutes right, you're like shaking the box. That doesn't work. I'm like sorry, that. I was prejudiced against okay. the acid. Okay, I apologize. See? All right. I apologize. All right. Okay. You're welcome <laughs> back. Just you know, just enjoy. That's, it's okay. okay. It's good. All right. Okay. All right. Yeah. <laughs> now I keep talking too much, and my my cigar keeps going <laughs> off. So, so you gotta take over. Oh my god. Yeah. All right. Want to do first impressions? Yeah, we can do first okay. impressions. Okay. It's, it's well, obviously sweet. sweet. Yeah. <laughs> but it's I'm getting the sweetness to me is coming from the wrapper as opposed to to the filler. Well, that makes sense. And I, I, I mm. did as soon as I, like on first light, I could taste Nicaraguan tobacco. That's why, I, that's why I was asking the question of what the blend was. Do you know what I find different? And I thought I was going, I thought I was going to get a lot more of like a botanical potpourri type of flavor. Yeah. When I that's was what smoking I it, and I, you're not. You get the sweetness off the wrapper, but then you get almost a, a 
you get like a traditional tobacco taste as well too. You get both of them. In once one you get cigar. past the, the the infused oils, once you get past that, you can flavor, taste the actual tobacco. You can tobacco. actually taste the tobacco. Yes. 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 I, I can taste this yeah. as a sweetness, like you know, from the San Andreas wrapper. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can get that. Mm -hmm. If you can get, you gotta get past all that. That's other stuff. right. You're right. Do you mm -hmm. is the whole is all the tobacco infused or just the wrapper? All the tobacco. All the tobacco and is that's infused. Uh, yeah, and that's what I thought I was gonna get. So the, the flavor whole time stays throughout. The flavor stays throughout the whole. The, from your first puff to your last puff, you will get the exact same stuff, uh, exact same flavoring. Although you will think that the sweetness dissipates. Like I said, it's just That's you're, you're, it's you're feeling not like gonna it be, is, you're yes. not gonna, well, you is it like your eyes get adjusted to the dark? Exactly, yeah. okay. exactly. Now I will tell you, this is a very good cigar. So any, any of the purple line yeah. is a very good, good introduction into the acid line. Mm -hmm. the, the, the major problem that, that a lot of people fall into when they wanna try their very first acid, they usually go up to their local brick and mortar store and they go, hey, I want to try an acid. And then the, the guy behind the counter goes, Shoot oh, you. great. All right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know, that's, uh, you just I'm it. done. <laughs> 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 this is very non-traditional. <laughs> We're very dumb. So, so the guy goes, well, I sell a lot of Cuba Cubas. And yeah. Cuba Cuba sure. is our number one selling yeah. cigar. Yeah. And, and we were told that it's the number one selling cigar in the U.S. We've uh, heard that, uh, yeah. Okay, yeah. All, all over. From a Drew guy. But <laughs> I believe <laughs> that. <laughs> yeah. I, I believe that. that. Yes. No, I believe that, yes. though. But uh, Cuba Cuba is the most aromatic yeah. and ah. the sweetest. So if you if we were going to cut a, a Cuba Cuba over here on the, on the uh, for, for all you guys, you will get less of the tobacco flavor and okay. more of the infusion Fusion, and sweetness yeah. because oh it's to okay. the next level. Oh. So so that's why there's there's the purple line is a great go-to. There's another one, uh, uh, the toast, or okay. or if you guys come to Cigar Cigar, you guys are a TA member, so you get the Big say, Bang. Yeah, what about that? Well, we What's the, the flavor we have in the, the Big Bang? So, so What's so the flavor in the Big Bang? Tell us so that. So the Big Bang is uh, yeah. uh, going to be more of a medium body cigar. Uh, mm -hmm. Most acids are, are mild. Right, so mm -hmm. so they get hints of medium, whatever, but but most of them are mild. The Big Bang actually has one extra leaf of Lajero, so it is a medium a body. Longer, yeah. uh, you're going to get the same amount of sweetness as as this one. So so depending on if you think it's too much or, or too little, the same amount. And then you're going to get more. Uh, it's just my opinion, and I'm you know not necessarily right or wrong. But when I smoke the Big Bang or the Toast, it's like a roasted marshmallow. Uh -huh. Oh, that sounds It's like I, I, you know, so so you get your hands on a Big Bang or a toast and you smoke that around a campfire. No? Do you guys have like an infused book that s'mores? we could like, no. like tell customers what the blends are, sort, like at least what the wrappers are on the No, one? because if we had a book, then uh, I'd be out of a job. Okay. We don't want to do that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I need at least six more years, you know? <laughs> we need to discuss that. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. I want to hit 25. All right, so what are the C notes? I'm just curious. I got to know. C notes, a $100 notes. bill. <laughs> li 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 little cigars in a pack. <laughs> yeah, but is, is that like the same as like a blondie? So, so this actually, the Sino is is just like it's a purple cigar. So, so oh, it's it's, pur it's the same infusion as these ah. right here, and the, and why they're called C notes is because in a box there's a hundred of them. They come in, in five count little bags. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, so C note. So okay. so in it's the a nickel bag. Yeah, a nickel bag. Yeah. 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 I mean, there's five of them. <laughs> like, yeah. No, yeah. Yeah. Well, we used to call them back in the 90s, okay. Nickelback. Nickel okay. Bags. okay. Well, right. see, there I you go. Like Did I say something I expected yeah, more of a, I expected yeah, more of a, the aroma, like when, when people smoke uh, acids they in the store. They smoke the blues. They smoke the blues. Yeah. Here, Thank I'm you, actually getting right. the aroma the that I would get from the undercrown of the Liga mm -hmm. Bravado wrapper. This is very you know, pleasant. There's a very That's distinct nice. flavor from those wrappers, not from the smoke, yeah. not from s inhaling it, but from just the aroma. Mm -hmm. So, would you agree with me that that w that you know when I say that we use premium cigars, premium tobacco for these acids? Yeah. I'm not blowing smoke. Oh no, it's no. clear. Okay, yeah, no, good. No. Wow. I like it. You definitely can. All right. It. I just nice. look at the wrapper. You can see. Yeah. It. yeah, it's very oily. I mean, we we did a phenomenal job. Now, these are the first two that we're coming out with uh, at the IPCPR in less than. Well, it's like up to one. June. You know, in, yeah. in, in, in a month and a half almost. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, we're going to be releasing the Acid 20 because, hey, by the way, we're celebrating Acid 20. Nice. I don't know you if you heard that, that, but yeah, we're, we're celebrating 20 years of Acid. So we're going to have it actually an acid, acid 20, and then we also have uh, another 
uh, in the blue line. I can't say much uh, about it, but it's going to be beautiful. It's going to be very wow. artsy, very, very, very beautiful, and very limited. And so we're releasing a whole bunch of different ones. Cool. So, so we're lo we're looking to, you know, uh, uh, take an asset to the next level. Even though being number one, what is the next level? It's just one plus, I guess. Yep. So we're just, you know, we got to the top, and we're not set with just staying there. We want to raise the bar. So that's what we're doing. Um, you know, we love cigars. The cool thing with Drew Estate is, is when we come out with a new cigar or a s new cigar brand, we don't necessarily try to uh, cannibalize any of our other brands. Mm -hmm. So, so we have our, our great master uh, master blender, uh, Willie Herrera, mm -hmm. who goes down to our factory and he looks at all the different tobaccos that we have, and he goes, "Okay, so this is the portfolio of Drew Estate." Where are we weak at, or where do we not have something in? And then that's when we <coughs> launch and we start working on a specific brand. Okay, I have a question. Um, yes. Willie Herrera, he does all your blending. Mm -hmm. Now, does he blend a traditional cigar and then you guys infuse it? Good or question. does he blend it to what you're going to infuse it with? Well, so the, the blending aspect of an acid, it's just... Viso and Seco of Nicaraguan tobacco. So, okay. so, so it, it really isn't that much of a blending. Uh, uh well, they're all different types of Nicaraguan tobacco. Yeah. Like they all taste different, too. So. Can, can I tell you that it's probably like the biggest pile of Nicaraguan tobacco we have that, that we don't use? And oh, well, let's use that. It's premium Nicaraguan tobacco and let's use it. So, you know, as a manufacturer, you only use all the tobacco uh, that we have. When we first started, you know, 20 some years ago, uh, we used to call farmers and, hey, do you have any Lajero from Candega or do you have Lajero from, from uh, Jalapa or, or, and then we could buy that specific portion of tobacco. Now we, we have contracts with farmers and we just buy the whole land. Right. So we have to figure out what to do with the Lajero, with the Visos, with the Secos. Mm -hmm. and, and luckily enough, we have acid, which acid is infused with natural botanical and herbal oils. Just like we have Tobacco Especial, which those the same tobaccos, but we infuse with coffees, Nicaraguan right, coffees. Right. Uh, um, it's, it's more on the infusion and less on the tobacco, even though what you guys are tasting are the fine Nicaraguan tobaccos, if that you makes sense. What would be interesting oh. is if you had a promotion or an event where you could smoke this cigar not infused and then the cigar infused and yes. see the difference. That's that would be interesting. That would be interesting. Well, so so that that would be uh, something to think about. I will tell you. I get credit. <laughs> you, you'll get credit and, and you'll ten, be invited. And 10%. We'll, we'll fly you in to whatever the event is. Oh, what? <laughs> No, the event's here. here. It's the <laughs> event's here next year. All right, perfect. Okay, so we'll send a driver out to come and pick Are you up. Are you hearing those voices in your head again? <laughs> yeah, I gotta hear oh, voices in my head. That's actually really funny. Uh, but but what we did do because <laughs> I was actually uh, thinking about this is uh, I had a batch of a specific cigar, uh, which actually at that time was the acid toast, and I had the acid toast done the acid toast way, and I had the acid toast done without the sweetness, mm -hmm. and and. I did not like the unsweet acid toast mm. because not only n what happened was the sweetness intensifies the botanical herbal oils, but it also intensifies the flavors of the tobacco. Mm. So, so th without the 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 sweetness, the the infusion actually worked against ah, the tobacco. Yeah. So it was kind of like the the sweetness is the glue that that held everything together. And, and makes everything taste very, very good. If you take one of those uh, items out, it's, as Jonathan Drew would say, soup sandwich. Mm -hmm. Nobody wants to eat a soup sandwich. No. Soup sandwich. I wonder yeah. if that's true or if that's just you because you so used are to you so used to yeah. that sweetness. I, I'm, well, I'm, I'm to used to sweetness. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I, you know, uh, I'll be frank and tell you that 9 out of 10 cigars uh, that I smoke are non-traditional, are the acids, the Laritans, the Deadwoods, the Tabacs, right. even Ambrosia once in a while. Uh, uh, so 9 out of 10 cigars are the ones, are those the ones I smoke. Uh, but I, I do sometimes want to, you know, go traditional. And when I do, it's going to be more of a mild, mild to medium body cigar. I mean, uh, it, you know, at all the events that I do, and I get always asked, hey, what's your favorite Liga Pravada? I'm like, well, well you know, I, don't now. <laughs> I, yeah. I really like this natural dirt. Yeah. You know? And they're like, what? The natural so, dirt. So, 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 you know, I mean, uh, people just don't really understand how I could work for Drew Estate and uh, 
it's not that I don't enjoy them, but I have to smoke them after a nice meal because they are very heavy for yeah. me. Yes. Yeah. You know, so so even though I've been smoking for 19 years, I'm still on the the beginner aspect, still on the milder, still on, on the sweeter. And it's actually funny how some people who started smoking with me at the same time have done the whole gamut. They, they, they got out of the sweetness, they went into the mild, into the medium, they're smoking full, they like getting punched in the head uh, uh, with just lajero and, and just spice and whatever. And then, right, you know, 10 years later, they're like back, oh, you're smoking an acid with me again. Yeah, 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 oh, that's yeah, cool. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's weird how yeah. it, it's all a circle and it, it just goes around. Mm -hmm. Baby, so our, our, audience, our audience is always interested in, uh -huh. you know, people's background. Uh -huh. I mean, you've been in, in the cigar business for 19 years now, and obviously, looking at you, I would presume you had a life before cigars. Yeah. What, <laughs> what's your background? The funny thing is, is so I, I lived in Southern California, and uh, the Drew Estate, work for Drew Estate is actually my second job. Mm -hmm. uh, and I don't consider babysitting my sister the first job, even though I babysit, babysit <laughs> her a lot of time because my parents were always out partying. But uh, my first job was actually at Disneyland. I worked at Disneyland for 10 years. Uh, uh, I worked in stores, I worked uh, uh, pest control, I mean guest control, <laughs> and uh, also security. You had it right the first time. Yeah, right? uh, uh, and, and security. So I did that for 10 years, and the way I got into this business actually is not the, I'm probably the only way, the only person I ever got in this business like this, but the more I talk to people and how they got into this industry, it's there's not a certain one way Halfway, of people yeah, yeah. getting into this industry. You don't go to school to learn. No, yeah. exactly. You know, so, so. My best friend, he was the best man at my wedding. Who, that, that marriage didn't work, but it doesn't matter. It's not because of him. Southern California. Well, yeah, you know, it's the uh, nine, nine and a half m a year itch. You know, everyone gets divorced before 10 years because in California. The alimony goes up. <laughs> yes, it's lifetime. Uh, uh, I was the best man at his wedding. He was the best man at my wedding. And uh, he started a little distribution house uh, of cigars oh. in, back in the, in the uh, late 90s. It's still around, it's called JMG International. Uh, uh, they're a distributor on the West Coast. And uh, he fell in love with a French girl. Mm. And it's like they it. got married. And they tried living in Northern California, and she hated it. And then they tried living in Southern California, and she hated it. And <laughs> after three years of living in California, she actually drops, uh, they were married for two years, and she drops the bomb on him and goes, okay, I'm going back to Paris. So we're the either getting divorced or you're coming with me. <laughs> so love prevailed. Mm. Well, they they the go, the, he moves to <laughs> Paris. <laughs> Unbeknownst to me, right? He goes, hey, you've been working at Disneyland for 10 years. I'm like, yeah, you know, it's like, you've gotten to the highest level that you can. I'm like, yeah, you know, I'm kind of stuck, this and whatever. He's like, well, I got a great job opportunity for you. I'm like, oh, really? He's like, yeah, you're going to sell cigars. <laughs> uh, and I'm like, Really? Were uh, you a smoker at that so time? So I'd only smoked three cigars in my life. Oh. All three cigars were with him at his wedding. Yeah. And the only thing I knew was you cut one end and you light, light the, the other. other. <laughs> okay? Yeah. That was the only thing I knew. Write that down. That sounds like us. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that yeah that's <laughs> rule number one, right? I well, guess. So at least I knew rule number one. And, and, the and, and then he goes to the next level. He's <laughs> like, yeah, I spoke to the guys at Drew Estate. They're thrilled of hiring you. And, and I'm like thinking, like, why are they thrilled of hiring a guy who works at Disneyland, <laughs> uh, you know, who doesn't know? So you fit right into the culture. Yeah, exactly. You know, <laughs> so, so, so needless to say, uh, he goes, put in your two weeks. So I put in my two weeks. And then the, the last two weeks, we went and we went all up and down California and we visited in, in 2000, all 17 accounts Drew State had. Yeah. Okay. 17 accounts in the big state of California. And oh we visited. Wow. That's we changed a little since then. It's, chan it's changed a little bit. Uh, uh, I mean, you know, it's changed a little bit all over the U.S. Yeah, I mean, you know, there's sure. a couple more stores here now that carry Drew Estate cigars. Oh Thank sure. God. You know, knock on wood. You guys keep continuing selling cigars. But uh, uh, after the week, and, you know, he, he, of course, I sat down and I tried to take notes. And I realized, okay, all right, this is, I need to do this. I need to wear my best shirt over here, my pants. Okay, all right. <laughs> I, I knew I could kill them with kindness, because that's what Disneyland teaches you, is kill them with kindness. You know, mm -hmm. even though you're not supposed to go behind that wall, you're naughty, 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 but come over here and, you know, be nice and, and this and that, whatever. You kill them with kindness. So he leaves, and let me just tell you my very first sales call without him. So I just, I, for, for the life of me, I can't remember. I was watching a movie over the weekend back then, and it, it had to do about tobacco. and. 
something uh, about the tobacco, they, they had about tinderbox. So I'm like, oh, I wonder if there's a tinderbox here in Southern California, right? Mm -hmm. So I did what any sales guy would do, uh, pre-internet, you know, internet, you get the yellow pages. Oh. So, so I looked at the yellow pages and I'm looking, smoke shop, tinderbox, and unbeknownst to me, tinderbox number one is in Santa Monica, oh. California. Yeah. Mr. Ed Copeland. Is he on the promenade there? Uh, no, he's on, he's on Wilshire. Oh, uh, okay. uh, he's yeah. on Wilshire. Yeah, uh, uh, the late Mr. Ed Copeland, a phenomenal, ph phenomenal man who passed away, uh, I think, 10 years ago. But um, I'm like, that's it. My very first account call is going to be with Tinderbox number one. I'm going to take over the world with these beautiful cigars. I had my box of Cuba Cuba. <laughs> now, at the time, the cigars weren't cellowed, right. and we were actually infused the loose tobacco, mm -hmm. right? So you can only imagine the big Mel. smell yeah. of the wow. cigar. So here I go. I remember that. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm walking into the store, and I make a phone call. Mr. Copeland, uh, you know, Fabian Ziegler, I'm here with, you know, Drew Estate. We're the, the best cigar company ever. We have the newest cigar. We're going to revolutionize the whole industry, this and that, whatever. May I show you these cigars? And as I put it on the counter, and I'm about to open, he must have gotten hit with a smell because he, <laughs> he shuts the box <laughs> on me. I take a step back. I'm like, okay, uh, Mr. Copeland, look at these beautiful <laughs> <laughs> M Mr. Copeland, it's kind of hard for me to show you these beautiful <laughs> cigars when you keep shutting the box on me. You know, these are the best cigars. You know, how can I show them? He's like, son, get these smelly cigars out of here. <laughs> and I made my biggest mistake of my career. I, or I guess it's good that I did it very early, but I, may, I, 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 I went, Mr. Copeland, aren't all cigars like this? <laughs> I didn't know. Oh, yeah. my God. That uh -huh. acid was very non-traditional non at the time. Uh. I thought, this to me, this was traditional. So, so I had no idea. So he had, you, you know, he had a big smile on his face. He's like, son, you must be new. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, this is my first day on the job. <laughs> he's like, he's like, well, I tell you what, how about you go and, and find out a little bit more of, about your cigar and about your company and about this industry, and then we'll meet again next Tuesday, a week from today, and then you can do your whole sales pitch again. There you okay? Go. So, so I'm like, oh, man, what did I get myself into? I was in a nice, cushy job at Disneyland, and yeah. now I'm getting hungry and I haven't sold anything. You know, what's the deal mm -hmm. here? Uh, uh, luckily... I called him again. I did some studying, and needless to say, he bought five boxes. Nice. Good. We're gonna, have to that, stop. That, uh, We're gonna have to stop on that. Yes. Point. Yes. Well, needless to say, this is a different show. Uh, I I like to smoke an infused cigar, and I've been smoking these things for fifty-seven years, and I'm no snob. I enjoy them. Uh, I think those of you who have smoked them enjoy them, and as an occasional treat or as a regular part of your smoking program, you should as well. I thought it was really good. I just want to remind everybody, our King of Prussia store will be now open till midnight on Friday and Saturday night. Mm, yes. Till midnight. Lots of chances to smoke acid cigars. Exactly. All right. So we want to thank Fabian yes. very well. Thank you. Thank you very well. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Great thank presentation. Smoke sweet, everybody. We'll see you next week. Bye for now. Bye-bye.